The first and the most important thing you can do when you have a Samsung account is to be able to locate your stolen or lost phone. All you have to do is go to findmymobile.samsung.com and then you can do a bunch of things. Not only can you pinpoint your phone's location and continue to track its location every 15 minutes, you can remotely backup or wipe your data, you can unlock your phone and even make it ring loudly. But you can do all this only if you're signed into your Samsung account. So to do that, go into your settings, then scroll down to accounts and then tap on manage accounts. And then you'll have to scroll all the way down to add a new account and select Samsung account that's at the top. The next thing our Samsung account lets you do is create backup of your phone. So if in case you ever corrupt your phone or lose it, it's all on Samsung Cloud, nicely backed up. If you've already signed into your Samsung account, you can go into accounts and backup, then tap into backup data and you can see all the kind of things you can backup. And then of course, you can restore this on a new phone by following the same process, but just tapping into restore data. And then you can select what stuff you want to restore and you're all set. Next, if you and your friends have a Samsung phone, you guys can share an album in your gallery using your Samsung account. So every picture you add in that shared album, it just pops up in your friend's shared album too. So to do this, go into shared albums, then tap on that plus sign over there to create a new shared album, give it a name, and then you can invite that person by going into account and then putting in their Samsung account ID. And that's it. And guys, before we move on, it would mean so much to me if you could hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon and select all. It really helps me sustain the channel and grow it even more. All right, now let's move on. And very similarly, you can also create reminders for your friend or family members. So if you go into reminders app, go into a group and then you can add people in that group by clicking on invite and then putting in your friends or family members Samsung account ID. They will get a confirmation message. They have to accept that and they get added to that group. And now when you create a reminder, just choose that group name to which you want to send the reminder to. And once you hit save, it would appear on your friend's phone or your family member's phone as a reminder. So they too get that reminder. That's simple. Next, I use Samsung Pass to log into apps or websites because I just need to use my fingerprint with that to log in. I don't have to remember usernames and passwords. So when I create an account with an app, I allow Samsung Pass to remember it and I just have to verify with my fingerprint to be able to log in. And so if you sign in with your Samsung account, you will also be able to use Samsung Pass and it will store all your usernames and passwords as long as you allow. It's like an autofill service by Samsung. So set it up by going into biometrics and security and then into Samsung Pass. Now let's say I have an ecosystem of Galaxy devices, you know, a phone and a tablet. And I use my phone to create a note on Samsung Notes and I just save it. If I go into my tablet and click on Samsung Notes, that note that I just created is automatically synced. And that is a sync setting that is enabled by Samsung account. So as long as you're signed into your Samsung accounts, you can sync across your devices just like that. And by the way, you can continue working on Samsung Notes. So let's say I drew these three lines on my phone. I can just pick up my tablet, tap on recent apps, and then you see this icon with the blue phone icon. That's the continuity icon. I can click on it and I can just pick off exactly where I left on my phone. And if I make a change in the tablet node, my phone will throw up a warning for the appropriate options. And that same effect of continuity can be felt on Samsung internet browser. So let's say I, you know, open a website and I leave it. I can go on my tablet, tap on recent apps. And then again, do you see that continuity icon on the internet browser? If I tap on it, it will exactly open up the same website that I was on uh, my phone without doing anything. Now, this is a setting that you'll have to turn on. So if you go into settings and go into advanced features, you'll see something called as continue apps on other devices. And do note that this is only available on flagship level devices running Android 3.1. So just something you should know. All right, that's it, guys. Those are some things I thought Samsung account can really benefit you uh, from using your phone and your tablets. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any questions, feel free to comment them in the section below. And as always, if you've liked the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.